If I'm not willing to have these conversations, then I'm not going to have that kind of the kind of partnership that I really want. Hi, I'm Adriel, creator of the Herpes Opportunity, which is all about positively shifting your mindset, disclosing to potential partners in a way that truly connects you and ultimately finding the love that you want and deserve. Now you can check out the free ebook linked in the description below about having the talk. And now onto the video. I hope you enjoy it. You know, it's, it's, it's almost like fun therapy. Like when you have a partner who's like, who's down with you and like, you know, aware and, you know, all this like a conscious human being, you know, you can kind of have these, like the, your relationship gets to be therapeutic, not in like the dry, you know, therapy kind of way, but like therapeutic in that we're both healing on this journey of like opening and going deeper with each other and trusting each other. And most likely if you have a awesome partner, they're going to be so down for that kind of stuff. Like in my in my head, I was th also thinking at that time, uh, I don't want, I might not want to like bring this up and make this into, make this into some sort of a therapy thing. But like she was, she lit up about it. She's like, oh my God. Yeah, this is, this is exciting. It's like, this is an opportunity for us to go deeper with each other and, and not cover up those things that might actually show up, you know, when we are intimate with each other and we otherwise wouldn't talk about like, let's, Let's bring it up together. Let's explore. Let's get more intimate with all of us together. What we are building here is the blueprints to the house. First, you have a vision of like what, what it is that you want. It starts in your head. And then it like goes into your body and you're like, oh, what would it feel like to be in that house? And oh, and then more details kind of come from that transition from, you know, kind of in your head, like, okay, I want a five bedroom house and did it all the structural kind of stuff. And then like, and then it goes into your body and you're like, oh, what, what kind of artwork do I want to have up on the walls? What kind of paint, you know, do I want to have a lot of windows? So a lot of light comes in and you get the felt sense of what that house is going to feel like. Right. And then you start building it. You start, you pull out the nails and the wood and you start constructing it. Right. And that's what we're doing here where it's like talking about it and like you bringing questions and then kind of me bringing my my experienced perspective in it that you're you're turning the corner around like okay this is the this is how many bedrooms i want my house to have but also like oh adriel lives in the kind of house that i might want to live in and what is it like for him to live there oh so you get this kind of contact high right of like oh i can start to feel it's like your mirror neurons kick in and like Oh, I can get a sense of what that feels like. Okay. And then you build your house from there. When you have the blueprint in your mind, but then you're on a date with this guy and then you're, and you feel what it's like to maybe start being a little more vulnerable with him, you know, maybe even way before you actually disclose, but like you get the sense of like, Ooh, all right. Here's kind of bringing the blueprint into reality and starting to hammer these nails into the, the wood, like speaking to your partner and having conversation and then disclosing. And then, you know, you're, you're constantly kind of facing, you're bumping up against your, your own preconceived notions about like how this isn't possible into, oh, I'm going to kind of speak it into reality. <laughs> kind of having these conversations, like especially the starting point being the disclosure conversation. And when that's like, received by the kind of person that you want to be with it's like it's this high but then you get all of these subsequent highs from kind of facing your fear of not being enough but speaking having the conversation anyway as if you are enough because you know you are on some level and oh this isn't just possible this is like you're you're creating this is where the whole creating your own reality kind of comes into play right but not in the woo woo sense of it but in like the the real world 
like if I'm not willing to have these conversations, then I'm not going to have that kind of the kind of partnership that I really want. If I'm mired in shame, then I'm going to most likely not act in these ways that would then have me have the kind of partnership that I want. So the fork in the road kind of goes the other way because I'm I'm not doing having those conversations. I'm not taking action. I'm not putting myself out there. I'm not right. So it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy in the other direction. Well, I hope you got a lot out of that video. And if you did, please let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and keep an eye out for more videos just like this.